What's up, everybody? This is the Runner and Gunner Video Game Podcast YouTube Rendition Edition. What edition is that, Runner? The Rendition Edition of YouTube. YouTube's exclusive edition. Only exclusively on YouTube. Rendition. Uh, where we talk about the same thing that we did on this Monday morning's podcast. And once again, this is the Runner Gunner Video Game Podcast. The video game podcast of a lifetime. And today, our subject is the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch successor. Successor. And what is the successor, Gunner? Uh, well, apparently it's not the Nintendo Switch 2. 2. It's not going to be The like rumors are going around, though, right? Weird. The rumors are flying. I've been They're hearing flying. them flying like a kite, They're flying like a bird, flying. flying like an airplane. Like, they're, they're so just what is flying this? like paper airplanes. What is this? Uh, 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 what is flying around the, the uh, atmosphere about this Switch 2 thing? Okay. It's going around and around the whole globe. So, so the, the rumors are that the Switch 2 is going to come out, yes. and it's going to be also a hybrid. Right. And it's just going to be... The Nintendo Switch with more memory and more power. Okay. Which doesn't really constitute as a Nintendo Switch 2, if you ask me. So does the old LED, what does that mean for the old LED? Does that mean it's going to be just as good? Better than the old LED? Better? Yeah. So wait, we already have the old LED. So technically we already have the Nintendo Switch 2. We do, we do. Because we have the old LED. And that's what the Nintendo Switch 2 is. Lenny's. How come you're saying that there's going to be a Nintendo Switch 2? Two. Is, is that what you want for another just lame old system to come out and kick everyone's ass? Be like the midget who beat John Cena? Or or do you want freaking big time 11080 graphics, 10K, ultimate USB, uh, retractable systems, power in a Nintendo? With... All the memory you could even all imagine. I'm talking about terabytes for days. And just all the graphics. If these little all tiny... All the graphics. And you know they won't play DVDs because Nintendo don't go that can way. can hold all the graphics. I'm talking about more than PS5, what you want? PS4, all the PSs and all the Switches combined into one whole big old thing. And okay. hold those many graphics and terabytes. Game developers already have enough trouble... Developing games for these kind of systems with this amount of power. They do, they do. So, what would be the purpose of making a more powerful system? I, I hear crickets. Do I hear crickets? Cricket, cricket, cricket. Lenny's. I know. What can you be? answer me, Lenny's? No, you can't. There is no That's purpose. The That's point. why. There is no purpose there is for no making purpose a more powerful to system. To making a more powerful system when the game developers can't even catch up. In fact, the game developers are still like in PlayStation 3. They're Barely. far behind, and yeah. um, and actually, independent game developers are like on say, are, they're like coming to Nintendo sixty four now. Yeah, yeah, which is amazing because mm-hmm. just a couple years ago they were like in the NES stage, and then like last year they cur- they turned into the Super NES and Sega Genesis stage, and now and they're now trying they're to like come to the N sixty four stage. We got like one we dude in his bedroom it. making a whole N sixty four game by himself. Yeah, and then he gets famous and he hires a couple more people. Boom, it's happening. Um, so indie game developers are catching up a lot sooner than you think, PlayStation 5 and Xbox. So you might want to um, start running. Or, as we say, switch on over to the Switch. Or switch because on the over. the Switch is going to be the next best thing, or is the next best thing. It is. If you it's haven't still even going. imagined how big it is. And we just Especially discovered, everybody, we just discovered that they that. could actually play and port PS3 games. They could play they and port Xbox One games. They can. They can play and port PS4 games. This whole time, this they system can. has been developed at the same time that the PS4 was developed, it could do the same exact well, thing stroke that my whiskers. can do. Uh, oh, yeah. And also, they got PlayStation 4 games, ex- like, um, Grounded is a Grounded. Xbox one is it Xbox 360 and probably PS4 it's an Xbox One game or One S One well, yeah. Xbox X S- One S- One S W V S G V I don't know Xbox Pi Xbox Pi 3. yeah 14, there you go. 316 Praise Jesus something like that you know but really grounded good stuff which is um Obsidian game created for the Xbox One is on the Nintendo Switch 
and no one's talking about it. No one gives Nobody Nintendo credit. Nobody has said anything well, we do, about it. So apparently some people are talking about it because they're running a gunner video game podcast. The very few. talking about it. The few. The strong. The very few. And also um, Batman Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight, that's which right. Which is a PlayStation 4 game. Yes. Is also on the Nintendo Switch. And it ports to a handheld system, which is amazing because it the, the graphics look perfectly, actually, Perfect. better. I like it better. I, I think it looks better. I think they the improved frames the per graphics. Second, all right, let's be real. The frames per second, a little they drop. A little, yeah. little skipping here and there, especially when um, the car was involved. Yeah, but where, can you, where else can you get a better handheld portable device that's going to play these kind of games? on the go and people want to play them not, say the kids the Steam, are on the, the road you guys are trying to go to the steam yeah but it still doesn't compare to the switch because yeah, the switch for some reason it does so many more things and it doesn't even come close the graphics it just doesn't have it's the weird. power inside of it that it the switch have the, has the love i think it's weird that something like more powerful and better is not as good you know it's kind of i don't know it's kind of like like a sexy chick you know just because She's looks bigger fine and finer doesn't and mean she's better. better, you know? Yeah, but doesn't mean that she has the love in her heart yeah, or, or the, the, love in the her goodness, heart, you know? The goodness of, of the art uh, uh, or to craft. Yeah, you sure she wears glasses. Into, yeah. yeah, sure she's got some freckles on her nose. Sure she's got a big booty. Sure I mean, those <laughs> those calves are thick. Sure that hair is, you know, is straight. Sure those those ears aren't pierced. You know, sure she doesn't wear makeup, but man, she is hot. She's and hot. I love her. And her headlights are beaming. But at the same time, the Switch 2 is not coming out, everybody. It's so not it was all out. rumor. It was all, it's all rumor. Fake. It was all I mental think even IGN got capacitation that rumor. of everybody saying, hey, I want a Switch. You want a Switch 2? So do I. And guess what? It's not coming out. It's not happening. It's not even in development. And for now, Not even in development. it's just a freaking rumor that's going around on Earth and the Earth realm. So, Gunner, let's read the actual tweets and the actual facts that were said by the Nintendo Switch Corporation. Okay. Here we go. So this is real. Straight from the freaking company itself. So, I got the only, only information... Here we go. Nintendo we dug deep for this one. Has released. And we dug deep for this deep. one. The, the Lennies don't want to talk about it. They don't I want to mention it. See. IGN don't want to talk about it. All your little Instagrams and websites don't want to talk about it for some reason. What is the reason you don't want to talk about the original post? Original post. All right, here we go, everybody. From Furukara. Furukara. The president of Nintendo. The president himself. This is his tweet. All stand for the president of Nintendo. It was released on May 24th, I mean, May 6th, 2024. Did you hear that, everybody? At noon. May 6th, this month at noon, noon o'clock in Los Angeles. And it reads, Nintendo Co. LTD. No, Nintendo Co. LTD. This is Furukawa, president President of of Nintendo. Nintendo. We will make an announcement about... The successor to, to the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of a Nintendo Switch back in 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the later half of 2024. But please be aware, be aware. that there will be no, no. mention. No. Mention. No mention None, zero of the Nintendo nada, Switch nothing, successor settle, during that settle presentation. <laughs> and, nothing at all. End of post. End of tweet. So all he said pretty much was, look at all these rumors. They're running me every day. I wish we could play that song. If you listen to the Spotify <laughs> version, Anyways, it's a free version. All it is is rumors. All it is, is, all it is rumors. rumors. Just lies and rumors and lies and more rumors and just uh, uh, just making you guys go crazy. Trying then, to drive you guys nuts and trying to fake you out. Trying to make you pretend. Have you ever heard a rumor say this girl, you know, Katie was dating Jim and Jim Tom. was dating Tom and Tom was dating a freaking Timmy? And then, and then like... <laughs> Lenny's, I gotta ask you. You know, it's just when, when I was reading that post. Um, I was reading that post right now. At what moment did that post mention 
magnetic controllers. Did it? Did, did I like read something and black out? And then it was like, oh, we're also going to have magnetic controllers for the next Nintendo Switch. Did you part say two. magnetic controllers? D- did this Can post you, say the right. Nintendo Switch Part 2 is going to have magnetic controllers? Wow. How did That's that... what I've been waiting for my whole life. <laughs> How did they know? How did they know? They read my mind. All I, oh, wait. But, All I need is magnetic controllers. But then why did I pay $80 for the Pro Controller? When I could have a magnetic controller for $580. Well, let's just stick it on the fridge. All right. Well, if your butt, if your ass is made out of metal plates because it got hit by a car or something, and then it, it landed and skidded against the ground, and you had to get a metal plate on your butt, then you could freaking put your controller on your butt and magnetically. So that'd be nice if, if you had that magnetic controller, or if you have a metal plate in your head because you know sometime along the way you hit your head because you were tired of PS5 and you bang your head against the wall, and then the doctor said, "I got to get a metal plate in your head because you locked a nerve loose." Then wow. that metal plate will be nice All to right, hold everybody. your controller on your switch. I, I know what we just said blew your mind. You're gonna go cry, put it on some Taylor Swift and some Nicki Minaj because we cuss too much. Runner and Gunner are cussing too much. Did you hear what they said? So shiny. They were uh, condescending in tone, so I'm going to go put on some Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr because they're not at all condescending towards me. Well, well, listen up to the Runner Gunner video game podcast because we are telling you guys the truth, and all it is is knowledge, and we want you guys to know make you what think? is going on out there. It and this think. is what we're telling you guys about. The reason we want to let everybody know is because we don't want the lies, we don't want the rumors, and we don't want any BS to spread yeah. throughout this country or the whole globe. Or we're going to punch them just in the nose. Just let the truth out there. Just once. We ain't going to kick their ass. We're just going to punch them in the nose, you know? And so as we spread this truth, Running Gunner Don't Video Game Podcast will live on, and we will keep on delivering the you greatest could lie to me video game input. When I find input. out, I'm gonna punch you in the nose, and, th- and that's all. You know, I'm not gonna kick your ass. I'm just gonna punch you in the nose. Just a couple times. Everybody, the Nintendo Switch June. They are having June. a Nintendo oh. Direct in June. They are gonna mention some very good games because I know there's a strike, and I know there was the epidemic, pandemic, yeah. whatever you want to call it, and there's an election coming on, but. I bet you anything that this Nintendo Switch Direct is going to have some pretty cool games. Very cool games. And it's going to be even better than... Then it's the successor the before, so I mean, it's... Yeah, of course. The it's going to be better than the it's Steam. It's going to beat the Steam's butt. But you could um, get the Steam, too. It's pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. What, what, what are we saying? The Steam is awesome. It is awesome. Pretty. I actually... Don't own one, so I I want one. (laughs) (laughs) Me too. But but it's also interesting that it's been nine years since Nintendo announced the Nintendo Switch Part 1. And then the OLED, which is the Nintendo Switch Part 2. And it's also interesting that they could port games from PS4 and Xbox One at this moment when they actually made it in 2015. So that's an interesting point and a fact as well. So it's cool because you could take these old school games or new school games portable and still take them everywhere. And the Switch isn't even done creating what they've done. It hasn't even stopped. So it's just going to keep on going and it's just going to keep on growing and be awesome. Yes, it's also so that's really cool. It's also interesting that the Switch is seven years old, and that's kind of like the lifespan of a console. Yeah, so they're just right on time. You know? Yes, exactly. As always, they lead the way. Everybody, this is the Runner and Gunner Video Game Podcast YouTube rendition. Listen rendition. to us on YouTube. Uh, we'll be having more interviews. We'll be having more fun. You heard uh, Anthony and uh, Andrew last week at Andrew. Anna's Pizza. Shout out to Anna's Pizza once again. What's up, Anna's Pizza. We love you. People, and we're going to be back. We're going to start throwing some concerts. We're going to start running on the streets. Season 6, which is also called Season 1, is coming out super close. We're closer than ever to having that come out. We are the premier podcast, everybody. The premier podcast. All you maniacs, thank you for listening to this show. Go ahead and follow. Shout out to every like maniac out there. Everything we do so the word could spread, the goodness could spread, so we can make some peace on earth, especially in this communication device that we have called social media, podcasting. We are the new radio. You know, in the 40s, we had radio. We communicated with each other. Now we have radio right now. We communicate with each other. Pump yes. rock, everybody. Who needs the government? Well, we can talk to each other. I'm just kidding, government. We still like it. <laughs> everybody out there, have a great Monday morning. God Monday bless you morning. all. Jesus Christ is with you. 
Let's yeah. have a great Monday because if you can have a great, great Monday, Monday, then you, you can, have, can have a great life. But also, life. Runner, before we go, tell them how they can listen to all the different ways of Runner and Gunner. There's so many ways you can listen to Runner and Gunner video game podcast. You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple, Snapple, uh, Cranberry Juice. You can listen to us everywhere that you think is possible in your mind. You can listen to us wherever you may go, wherever you may be, and you could actually crack, crack a us. sip with us. And that's what we want you guys to do, just to have a great time and have a beautiful Monday. That's all we care about is your Mondays. Yeah, you don't have to listen to us on Monday. You can listen to us on Tuesday. You can listen to us on Wednesday. You could listen. Oh, to because us on this is the Thursday. YouTube you can listen edition. To us on Friday or love. You can listen to us on Saturday. You can listen to us on Sunday. Eight all days right, a week. Everybody. So we gotta go. Fun but day. Before we let you go, we want to let you know that everything is gonna be lovely in your lives because yes, it is. God bless you. Your mind is great. You're strong. You're healthy. You're fit. You're sophisticated. You're gentlemen's and you're ladies. You're not ladies anymore now that you've listened to the Runner and Gunner Video Game Podcast. Video Game Podcast. Everybody out there, we are the Video Game Podcast. Go ahead and Google us, the Runner and Gunner, Gunner Show. Show. Podcast. Whatever. Whatever you want to call us, we are Runner and Gunner. And, and you listen, guys to, us have, on listen Spotify. to us on Spotify, Apple, Snapple, Crapple. Cranberry. <laughs> All, All right, right everybody. We have reviews coming. We have interviews coming. We have a whole world of entertainment coming through you. It's the Runner and Gunner. Follow us everywhere. And before we let you go, we're going to let you guys listen to this special segment. Uh, I think it's some Joe Rogan stuff. I don't know what it is, but you guys got to listen up to it. So check it out. Joe Rogan knows everything. Joe Rogan knows everything. Joe Rogan knows everything. All day. All night. All day. All night. All day. All night. All day. And all night. <laughs> Yo, wow. I just want to say, like, oh, welcome to the podcast, man. This is, like, this, the 17th time you've been on my show. It's totally cool, dude. Theo James, uh, it's, I got a question I want to ask you. Yes, I am Theo James. You can ask me anything. Before I know everything to everything. Well, I just want to ask you, like, uh, only, this is the only question that you can answer personally since you're a hip-hop connoisseur from 2015. I've been connoisseuring my ass since 2020. 2020. Wow. That's amazing. It's amazing that someone would study hip-hop from 2020 and beyond. I just got to ask you, though, what do you think about Lamar Odom and Drake's beef, bro? Well, for their beef, I think uh, you know the answer already because you know everything. But in my opinion... I think that they should just uh, squash the beef and play some basketball. You know, that's what Lamar Odom does. How come he's beefing with Drake? Tell us. Well, in my opinion, as Theo James would always say, Lamar Odom did do a lot of drugs and Drake is drugged out. So who will win? Wow. They might as well have a drug off wow, and Theo. see which champion of champions shall have the biggest drug. Well, Theo, since I, I actually know it all, I'm going to tell you. What is the real answer? I, I think it's violence in video games. Have you seen those violent video games on YouTube? They're like totally violent, dude. Well, you know the violence is already corrupting uh, the young mind. Of course I know. I'm Joe Rogan. I know everything. But my concern is the young minds are watching the violence, and the violence is leading up to violence upon the streets. All right. Well, everybody, we got to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more Theo James. This is the Joe Rogan podcast. Joe Rogan knows everything. And for I am Theo James.